Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm working on this uh, Briggs cutaway engine. Been wanting to build one of these for a long time, but finally just got around to it. Um, so it's going pretty well. Here's how I started it. I uh, took a circular saw with a regular wood blade. They cut through aluminum just fine. You just gotta watch out for the steel. And I got plenty of blades anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, I started off with using that. I cut up here this slot, left a little bit of angle there for the piston to be held in. This has got a steel sleeve in it too, um, and I got steel in this uh, valve seat and. Uh, so I had to watch out for that. And I got those with the grinder and the sawzall. So I cut straight up through this valve area. But I left this boss here at the bottom to hold the valve in better. And this one too for the lifter. So I got all that cut and then I cut this out a little more so I could so you could see the cam better. Get a good view in there. Like that. And for this side cover, I just kinda matched it up here. Just cut it up to the same point as the block, and now uh, you can see the cam bearing there and the crank here. And I also cut the seal that'll go in there too. And I don't, couldn't seem to find a head for the engine. I'm gonna use the valves and stuff out of this one because. I don't know where the ones from that this block went. So I'm going to use the parts from that. And yeah, I don't seem to be able to find a head for it. So I'm going to look for one at the junkyard probably. No hurry. This is going to be a slow project. And I cut a hole for the, so you can see the oil dipper. And so that's pretty much that and I might put a carburetor on it too and cut away that cut away the bowl and I haven't thought about that too much yet and for the flywheel side I notched it out so I could see the points so should be able to see the points good and I'll put the coil on it and I'm not sure about the shroud yet. Probably not going to have a shroud on it. Or maybe part of it. I'm not sure yet. So we want to put a hand crank on it. Either on the flywheel side or the or this side. So I can turn it over. And I'm going to build a nice wood uh, skid for it. So that's all I got for now. I'll bring you back when I got some more progress done. Okay, well I got it all uh, done and started painting it and getting ready to put it back together. Went with this off-white color. Left the point area clear. And painted all around the cut parts red. So you could see where it's been cut. Um, I'm putting lighter springs here for the valve springs, so it turns over easier. Um, I made this, I started making a skid 
like to mount it on, but I didn't, I didn't like the how it was looking, so I just used this piece of an old cutting board. Um, I think that'll be a lot cleaner than a big skid for it because it's just a little engine. Um, and set the holes there on the bottom. It was kind of falling apart, that's why I didn't use it for a cutting board anymore. So I drilled the whole thing all the way through for dowels so that it doesn't fall apart in the future. It wasn't falling apart yet, but the other pieces were, so this was the good section. Um, and I got the rest of the pieces cleaned up here and clear coated so they don't rust. Uh, I'm going to put the whole points in so you can see how that works. And uh, got the flywheel cut out there. Uh, I got this old brass spark plug. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm going to use that. It's brand new. Um, everything else is just clear coated. And I made this handle. It was an old uh, uh, meat grinder handle quite a bit longer so I cut it right there and shortened it just drilled it out there and hammered it on so that's pretty cool and made it short enough so it clears that uh, clears the base for the engine um, also got the head I don't think I showed you that yet Found the head and cut it out to match the block there. So I just V notched that spark plug hole so you could kind of get a better look at it. And about it. We picked up this uh, snap on toolbox the other day for 200 bucks off Craigslist. It's got the bottom drawer and everything. We're just cleaning it up because it's kind of rusty down there. So I'm going to squeeze that in over here under, under this one. Got to take out that post and put a brace up, up over there and then clear out all this shit and it'll be good. Uh, we're going to use that four bolt coil. So I painted it up. Alright, show you how it looks when it's all together. Alright, I got this thing all done now. It's looking really good. Um, no real problems assembling it. Uh, got it all painted up, touched up good. Got that brass spark plug in there. And softer springs here works nice and smooth um, I got the points points here working too. The only problem is that, well it's not really a problem, but it doesn't spark because uh, this section is where the magnet was. So the spark plug won't spark, but you get the point of it working anyway. Let's see how it all goes. That's about it. Got the hole here for the oil dipper.
Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you on the next project.